Today, we'll be going over a brief ex explanation of how developmental networks work, using an example of characters from Lord of the Rings. A developmental network is a way in which gene products in an organism activate or inhibit the transcription or actions of other gene products. This is the way in which organisms can use multiple genes to create phenotypes. Gene products which stimulate the transcription of other genes are activating relationships, and we can denote them using an arrow. An example of this in developmental biology is the caudal gene, which stimulates the production of posterior structures. Gene products can also inhibit transcription or the actions of other genes. These are repressing relationships, and we can denote them using a T-bar. To show how a developmental network works, let's look at an example using some characters from Lord of the Rings. In Lord of the Rings, Smeagol will inhibit the transcription of Gollum, who in turn inhibits the, the actions of Samwise Gamgee. Sam activates the transcription of Frodo Baggins, who inhibits the transcription of Sauron. In a wild-type network, like shown here, the resulting phenotype is Sauron being inhibited. Let's look at a couple of examples of how the network can change if mutations occur. If a mutation in Gollum occurs, like shown here, then Sam will not be inhibited. Frodo is still activated, and so Sauron is still inhibited. In this case, the resulting phenotype is the same. Sauron is inhibited. In a double mutant, we might have both Smeagol and Sam mutated. If Sam doesn't work, uh, if Smeagol doesn't work, then Gollum's transcription occurs as normal, and works to inhibit Sam. This inhibition doesn't matter though, as Sam is already mutated and cannot stimulate Frodo. Since Frodo can't be stimulated, Sauron is transcribed. Thank you for watching this brief example of how developmental networks work.